Okay guys, I wanted to, just a short video here. I've had a lot of questions on how steering systems on these track machines work. Okay, so let's go over this, okay. Here's your steering motor. This is a fixed displacement hydrostatic motor. And it's a bi-directional motor. That means the shaft will turn either way, okay. Down inside here, you'll, there's a steering pump, a hydrostatic steering pump. It's just like uh, hydrostats on a skid steer. Uh, you know, it'll run up to five, 6,000 PSI. So, up here on the steering wheel, you're going to have some steering, what they call a steering input assembly. Okay, and the steering input assembly's got some, well, it's right there, you can't really see it. The steering input assembly has some sensors on it that detect steering wheel movement. And the steering wheel movement basically sends, sends um, an electrical signal to what they call an EDC, an electrical displacement control. Okay, and then that control box up there sends a signal to the, electri uh, to the displacement control valve uh, on the pump. And that displacement control valve basically ports oil to servo pistons inside that hydrostatic pump. Okay, for basically left or right turn or neutral. Okay, so when you're going straight through the field with this thing, you, this 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 pump's got a swash plate in it, just like if you guys have seen any hydrostatic pump. Okay, and that swash plate, when you're going straight through the field, that swash plate's going to be in neutral. It'll still be pumping oil, like 300 pounds, 400, it'll be standby pressure, you know, and charge pressure going through the loop. But left or right turn is going to be dependent upon swash plate angle in that pump. Okay, the pump is a, is a variable displacement pump. And so the way that you switch directions on this motor is changing your swash plate, say the swash plate angles that way, and you want to go the other way, the swash plate angles that way. You're changing the direction the oil's moving to send to the, to the motor. So once you get accomplished that, we've figured out how that works now. This is the actual speed sensor that sends a signal to the SSU, the steering system unit, control unit, on the tractor too. That's what this is. So, when all this is happening, you're turning the wheel, uh, this, this motor runs this shaft. And see this, see that gear right there? That's a steering differential gear. So, when you're turning this shaft clockwise, it's turning this gear clockwise. But on the other side, this shaft goes clear across the case and runs another gear just like that on another gear. It's turning that gear counterclockwise. That's how you get your, your rotation. So if you turn the wheel right, you know, uh, it's going to turn one track one way and one track the other way. So, um... It's really not that complicated. Uh, I, I'm kind of surprised if you guys watch this channel long enough. Uh, I usually throughout the year, uh, last year didn't have any, which was kind of abnormal. Uh, I've seen these guys bust these gears clear in half, um, break the, these little pinion gears that run the spur gear here. I've seen these these planetaries all torn to hell. Uh, but I just hope that helps you guys understand the steering a little bit. It's just hydrostatic steering. The old, when I used to work on the old 45s and 55 Challengers, this, there was nothing electric on them. And I know the steering systems pretty well because I used to put all the Auto Farm Auto Steer GPS on all those tractors when I worked for the uh, company I used to work for. So I knew the old Challengers, I started putting them on those because they were all mechanical. And up here, instead of having a input assembly off the steering uh, with those three sensors they didn't have that it was all hydraulic and all ran off pilot pressure and that pilot pressure when you turn the wheel uh, sent a signal to directly to the displacement control valve on the pump and the displacement control valve on the pump moved the servo pistons on the hydrostatic pump to do the same thing that the electrical portion on the EDC is doing here sent into a couple coils that moved the servos here to port oil the right way and uh, for left and right turn. It's actually pretty simple steering, really. Um, a lot of guys, uh, you know, I think are under the uh, uh, perception that the steering is like an old cat with frictions. It's not like that. Not like that at all. So, um, all right, guys. Uh, 
I appreciate you guys watching this brief little overview of uh, steering assembly on a uh, on a uh, it works for challengers too challengers pretty much set up the same way same dang thing the challengers actually the steering motors back here sitting up here at an angle like this and a lot harder to get to they're a pain in the ass on the challengers but uh all right guys so thanks